Now to a major political battle that is brewing over oil. There are billions of barrels of crude off the U.S. coast, but drilling for new wells has been banned for a quarter century. Today, President Bush said America needs that oil and called on Congress to take action so the oil companies can get it. Here's Bill Whitaker. With gas prices topping $4 a gallon, President Bush says relief is at hand by lifting federal bans on offshore drilling, bans imposed in the 1980s by Congress and strengthened by the first President Bush. Today, the current President Bush took aim at Congress, pressing Democrats to act first. Americans will rightly ask how high oil, uh, how high gas prices have to rise before the Democratic-controlled Congress will do something about it. Democrats fired right back. If this was a good plan, then they would have adopted it over the six years they controlled the House, the Senate, and the presidency. Democrats are lining up behind Barack Obama to oppose offshore drilling. Republicans pushing to open the taps. In the midst of the hot debate, John McCain and one of his possible VP choices, the governor of Florida, reversed course and now support drilling. So long as it's done safely, it protects our beautiful beaches, it protects our state. But in California, which suffered a devastating oil spill from a rig off Santa Barbara in 1969, opposition to offshore drilling is bipartisan. I myself want to do everything that I can to make sure that California is protected. From Republican Governor Schwarzenegger to local environmentalist, California is largely green. You get a much bigger improvement in a much shorter period of time by really aggressively going after conservation than you ever would with offshore oil drilling. Drilling opponents say reserves off California wouldn't last long. In fact, at current consumption rates, 21 million barrels a day, Americans would use up the estimated 18 billion barrels off the coasts all around the country in less than two and a half years. Even if we approved oil drilling off the coast today, it would have no effect on the price of oil and no effect on the price we're paying for gasoline for five or 10 years. Democrats say oil companies haven't yet drilled on some 68 million acres offshore and on that they've already leased. It seems this beautiful coastline will be fueling some ugly politics in this election year. Russ? Bill Whitaker on a gorgeous beach in Santa Monica, California. Thank you so much.